Well hey hey guys and we're back again on the bike at last. So sorry about the car so much you guys but you know it's just not been right at all. I mean even this morning and um, you know I was just a bit concerned about the ice so out in the afternoon. But guys as always I just do the rolling intro you know rather than just sit at the side of the road or something. And we just get going. And we're looking nice and clear. Yeah guys so this is us basically. What I'm trying is the microphone inside the helmet, the external one. And what we're doing is we're heading west at the moment. It takes you to Inverness, down from where we live in Elgin. But where we're heading just now, you guys, is Barkhead, where we were in the caravan not that long ago. And we did a night vlog with it towing the caravan to the site. So today is just that drive in the light. And what I tried to do, guys, you know, by motorbike vlogging, is, um, you know, trying to do two or three vlogs at once, you know, so I've got two or three weeks of stock, as it were, you know. So, uh, just hope you enjoy today, you guys. Yeah, because I always like to have the, the noise of me speaking, the bike and the wind all at the same time, so we'll just have to see how this one works out. But basically, guys, we do a motorbike vlog, a car vlog every week during the year as well as a tour of like a Scottish castle or a landmark or something like that, you know. And the hope always is, you guys, that you just feel like you're a part of it. Well, hold on a second. It's a bit wet under here. I'm just being a little bit cautious in case there's any ice. We are heading to the coast and it normally you know, is okay, but we'll, we'll just see. But yeah, so, you know, we always hope you feel a part of it, you know. And of course the idea is, and hopefully in quite a big way, is you know that if you're in hospital or if you're high bound, you know that you'll feel a part of this, you'll get to see a bit of our part of Scotland, you know, from around the world. You know, let me be the one that gets cold. <laughs> I'm starting to get cold already, actually. There we go, a little dark in the road today for the tractors, look. There we go again, look, again. But yeah, it's a lovely road, you guys. The crossroads here. And uh, this is the way, of course I worked in Barkhead for a long time. So it's uh, been out this road a, a, a thousands of times on the bike now. But what we'll do, rather than go down to the harbour, we're going to head up to the point, what they call the point. And I'm going to take a look up there because it's so sunny, it's so beautiful. Uh, boy oh boy, we'd have to do that you guys. But you know this year, I'm going to start off going down the coast, eh, west, towards Inverness, and then when the summertime comes I'm going to head east, down what they call the North East Trail, and it is just tremendous guys, absolutely tremendous. But there's also a couple of others. There's the, eh, uh, there's the Scotland 500 that takes you right round the north of Scotland, but we might do that in the car, in the caravan, as opposed to the bike. There's a tight corner down here, you guys. Yes, the coast is just oh, beyond that hill there. But we're going to long the side of the coast just for a little bit till we hit Barkhead. Hopefully you can hear that bike, you guys. So if you're watching this for the first time, you guys, we're on the 900 Fireblade just now. And it's a 1998 uh, 900RR. It's just a weapon, this thing, you guys. No traction control or anti-lock brakes, which is cool. Uh, we've also got 1200 Bandit. We've had that for oh, the same, same time as this, about 12 years. The 1200 Bandit's kind of the main vlogging bike, you know. Very comfortable. But hopefully, you guys, this year is going to see the addition of the Kawasaki H2 for doing these vlogs, you know? So that should be really cool. And hopefully I'll get more Land Rover back on the road as well. Because uh, those of you that have watched before will know that I've been through uh, a major surgery just over a year ago. And I was in hospital for a month and a breathing machine and all sorts. So last year was all about surgery and rehab. And these vlogs and tours are a big part of that. So I've just carried it on as part of our online platform, you know. 
go do much more you guys, you know, DIY dart, DIY stuff and uh, do cars, bikes and boats got the old boat and the car and the bikes to work on and stuff, you know, so loads and loads of stuff and of course, you know, we're always away caravanning so, you know, we get to go canoeing and quad biking and, you know, hopefully, again, we just hope you feel a part of that, you know you know, as you get to sort of know the places we go, like Loch Ness, Savvy Moor, Cairngorms, you know, we head down to Perthshire and, you know, all sorts of places on the caravan. So that is the big hope, you guys. But we're heading off there for the next vlog, you guys. That's going to take us down to Rose Isle, but for now, we are heading into Burghead and I'm hoping that's not the rain coming on. Let's see. There we go, beautiful Burkhead, you guys. What I'll do, guys, is again, I'll go probably go down to the harbour, the other side of the harbour, and then I'll start the drive up to do the tour up top. Yeah, I don't like hammering three times, you guys. It's like the sound of the bike just barbling away coming down the road, you know. Ah, it's pretty windy out. Look, you can see out there. And what you see over there, you guys, the land over that part of the sea is the east coast of Scotland heading up to like Tharzo and Wick and stuff. And down there is Inverness. But we'll get you around, you guys. Show you a few places. But for this vlog, you guys, we're trying to finish it off down at the harbour. So I hope that'll be good. You know, and then I'll head up to the point to do the tour, and that'll be a good start to the year, you guys, eh? Here's all the dudes, get the barble through. My boss will be picking up her kitty, I think. Yeah, she'll be there somewhere. A lovely old town now. Look at the old churches, you guys, eh? Paul already passed one. There's two. There's three there. Yes. There's nobody behind us. Check it out, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? God. Every village in this in this county, you guys, man alive. But yeah, kids are coming out. I better just be extra vigilant here. Yeah, so see up there, you guys, that's up to the point. And that's what we're going to do the tour. But first, you guys, we're going to click down this little road here. And we're going to sneak through the back of the harbour. There we go, look, there's the harbour. We've been there a few times, you guys, if we look back. The previous time we were there, it was really stormy when we were here with the caravan. That was awesome. Um, but, you know, earlier, there's, there's, there's actually about two other tours of the harbour, you guys. I really love them, you know. Right, let's flip the visor up, because I want to see what sound difference happens when we get back. But yeah, there's the point up there, you guys. You see, this is when I liked having the bandit, you guys, for going down these tracks. Look at that, imagine living here, you guys, eh? But we'll just head down this bit here, look. If there was some people in the harbour, I wouldn't take the bike down, you know, but there's nobody there. I'm going to wait to see this, you guys, how beautiful this is when we finish. Go right off to the top. Look at this place, you guys. Absolutely love it. This is Now, this is where we're going to be taking our old boat. I'll just quickly stop here, just a second. Flick them into neutral. But, you see that slipway over there? That's where we launch the boat. And the guys are quite happy. There's a seal right in the middle there. Do you see him? See if I can point him out. So will pop his head back up again in just a second. Wait to see right in the middle there. Where is he? I'll keep speaking till he does though. But yeah, and the harbour master's brilliant. You know, he said we can come down and you know test the boat and stuff like that. So that was really really cool. Yeah, but check it out. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Let's get down to the end. Don't know if that seal popped its head out again, actually, or is it away down the channel? So let's head up here. 
just beautiful. Yeah, I think we'll just go right down to the end, eh? Oh, it's pretty mucky down here, actually. Ah, it's really mucky down here. Don't generally like having the bikes down at the, the seaside, you know? The old barn that's got a couple of rust spots just with the, the salty air, you know, and I worked out here. And the barn that's, uh, the fire has been out a couple of times too, so... Uh, hey ho, it's only just for a wee while. Oh, 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 oh. You feel <laughs> the suspension, you guys? Oh my goodness, we'll tell you sometimes. Let's have a look, okay? And what I'll do, guys, I'm just going to tilt the camera forward because, you know, there's such an angle on the fire blade. But here we go. I'll show you this up top of the tour for tomorrow, you guys, eh? What do you think, eh? I'm just going to head up to the point just up there, you guys, and I'll show you that so a bit of the headland. But let me just give you your bearings, you guys. That was basically where we came back from as Elgin, okay? There's Barkhead. Now, as we go along this west coast, we'll hit Rose Isle, which I'll be doing next. Then Findhorn, which I'll be doing again. There's a lovely old abbey there as well. Yeah, I'll do that. And basically, I'm going to bounce all the way down to Inverness, you guys. And as you can see over there, you'll see the land heading up. Hopefully, in the auction cam, you'll see it. I'll take some photos. All the way up, all the way up. You can still see it. You can see the snow up in the hills there. And that's the east coast. And it goes across to, I think it's Thar's Wick, I can't quite remember. And John Groats. So, so yeah, but check this place out, eh? Fireblade looking awesome as always. I'm just going to wait for the sun to come back out, take a couple of photos of But boy, the last time we were here, you guys, for our, um, our caravan holiday, man alive. It was wild, you know, it was coming right over this wall here. Yeah, so hopefully, guys, we'll be taking you out on the bay this year. I really hope so. And as you can see, look, there's the bay. It's back into the harbour there. There's the point. And we come out. And see these, this bit here, you guys, this channel that comes along? They actually have to dredge that, like, every couple of months because the silt, you know, from the, 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 the water coming in the tide. And you'll see how far the tide is away out over there. You see that? I'll show you when we're down at Rose Isle, but that actually comes right back up to that's a line there, you know? <laughs> it's quite shallow then. But yeah, look at this. Take some photos as well. Never really taken photos while I've got the action come on, you know, but we'll, we'll try it, eh? Who's this guy? That's the... Oh, goodness, I've seen it as many times, that boat. Let's see what I've got. Now, was he the thumbnail I used for the previous tour? I the last Burghead tour? You've got to be kidding, isn't he? Let's have a look there, you guys. I can always zoom in later. We're not on nights, just get in there, eh? Just the usual. This is a bit of a, an older phone, you guys, a bit of pain. We'll get it, though. I'm going to block the, your view either. Look at this. I think we'll just let him come up. See, we're definitely clean, eh? Let's let him come past. Just take a few. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm not concentrating. Look at that. What a baby. Oh, no, that's not. I don't think that is the one. We used this th thumbnail. Very similar real house. Oh, he's, he's waving. Good lad. And you know, all I'm going to do, I'm going to ask one of these guys if we can go out on the bay to fish what they fish for as prawns. Now he's obviously heading out for that now. The tide must be coming in. Look at this. Wasn't oh, he beautiful? Look at that. Sorry guys, two seconds, there we go. Yeah, you see, so all that prawn boats that you saw, you guys, basically, they're out in that bay all the time, and they just come back and forth and back and forth. It's just a beautiful prawns, you guys. Very sandy bottom, just what the prawns love. You know, there we go, throw you look over. 
Yeah, it's not choppy at all really today. And off he goes, look. I hope I'm getting the right photos here, you guys. I'm not confident. You just watch me just being a door length for a little while, you guys. It doesn't look right, but anyway. Hey, we'll take some photos up over here as well. That is awesome, you guys. So again, yeah, guys, I'm going to have the cheek to ask for a... My granddad always say, if you don't have the cheek to ask, you won't get. So I'm going to ask one of that prawn guys if they wouldn't mind taking me out in the summertime. And we'll head out and get these prawns, and you should see the size of them, you guys. Pff, wow. They're like mini lobster, half of them. But yeah. So yeah, guys, lots more to come. I'll pop on the tour tomorrow. I'm up on the point, and then next week will be our run from there to Rose Isle, where I'm heading off to after this. So guys, I just hope you enjoy, and I just thank you again so much for watching, and there are lots and lots more to come.